G'day folks. On this particular job today, I'll be using the radial light. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. The first reason, because it's monthly, it's relatively clean. I won't need any hard scrubbing pads off the radial rocker. The second reason are these shade grills. The radial light having a narrow nature fits beautifully inside those openings. All right, so let's get into it. The light weight of the radial light brush head allows it to be on the end of a horizontal pole. This means less pole stress and less body stress. I can move from window to window without any excess weight at the top of the pole. Now, as you can see, I've got a radial here, and you can see that difference in size. Therefore, that size now relates to the weight. Once you've taken the radial off and put the radial light on, you will feel immediately how light that brush really is. Now, to the rinse bar. As you can see, the rinse bar has a gap here. However, once we turn the water on, you'll notice the crisscross action it has right here. So the flow rate and the coverage of the glass is absolutely brilliant. Now, some of these windows have hydrophobic glass. Now, if you see that, it's not running in sheets. If they were pencil jets, that would not sheet down at all. Because of the rinse bar, I can run this down. You see how it sheets follows in behind it? That will dry beautifully. The light weight of the radial light is so light, it allows me to stretch over garden bed hedges or even rosebush gardens. Because it's a, uh, a radial, it still has the stiff bristles on the inside of the, uh, of the radial brush here. So although it's a general use brush, when you come across a stubborn piece of dirt, gentle push down and you give that a scrub through there, and that takes that off brilliantly. The control on the rinse bar itself is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, it takes that top edge right into the corner brilliantly. Okay, now this job here, although it is a monthly account, it does have some bug marks. Um, a bit of dirt down here. Things that will need an aggressive scrub, so Although it is technically designed for light work, it still does have those short, aggressive, stiff bristles inside. In this situation here, I've got quite a large awning to get over the top of, which means I want to take the weight of the radial rocker off my pole and put the radial light on there instead. Because the pole will be fairly horizontal at some points, I'm going to put the pivot handle at an almost horizontal position. So, if you're looking for a brush for fortnightly, monthly root work, or three monthly residential work, or even a brush to put on the end of your pole if you're having a horizontal nature to the pole, going over hedges, for example. The radial light is absolutely perfect for that. It still has some nice soft bristles, some nice stiff inner bristles, a fantastic rinse bar, and of course, a pivot handle. All in all, it is a fantastic, nice, lightweight, yet still aggressive brush for your kit. Well, this is my man. Give that a go. Er. Er.